if you are planning a photo shoot on Mother's Day and if your dilemma is how to get creative shots with your children or how to get through this day patiently with them, then Blush With Me is your answer. Do subscribe to Blush With Me and welcome once again to my channel. Before we talk about posing, let's go through a few very important points to keep in mind because posing is just one part of the shoot, but follow these points. First one, matte lipstick. Please apply matte lipstick for this photo shoot because hugging and kissing is such an important part of photo shoot with your kids. With glossy lipstick one, you will either avoid kissing your child or if you kiss your child, you're just going to leave goopy, sticky, colorful patches all over his face because if you try to wipe it off, it doesn't come off easily. So please try to make sure that you have something matte. They look stunning in pictures, very flattering and uh, your child will look pretty too. Point number two, most important point according to me, if you want to see happy children in pictures, then keep them happy. Make sure they're well fed, they've napped, they're happy, they're not wearing something uncomfortable. And one big part of keeping them happy is for you to stay patient because the moment you start losing patience with them, they start losing it. Point number three, follow your style. Don't try to follow somebody else for the photo shoot because you think something is trendy or a celebrity looks a certain way or somebody else did a photo shoot that you really liked and you want that in your pictures, great. But don't try to copy somebody just because they did it a certain way because that's their style, that is their personality. And if you try to imitate somebody else, then you are trying to be that personality and that should not be the case. You should try to look the best you can and be yourself. So if you want to wear jeans, wear the best freaking jeans in the market, something that really makes you look good, feel good. If you want to wear jewelry, wear something that is your personal style, wear heels, don't wear anything that makes you feel uncomfortable. Next point. Your photographer is going to take care of the location, lighting, camera, X, Y, and Z. But you make sure that you are looking your personal best. So wear something nice, do some makeup, get your hair done. Doing all these things really elevates your confidence for the photo shoot. And, and when kids look at you like that, they go like... It's like one of those emojis. When I see moms like that and the kids are literally just gazing at their moms, the kids Feel like it's a special day and when the mom is looking stunning the kids treat you special too so it's a double bonus this is yet another important thing to keep in mind I'm a lifestyle photographer so i prefer things that are natural in pictures i am not really big on just standing next to each other smiling at the camera and done with it first of all i don't know why smile just smile is such a big part of a photo shoot it shouldn't be because there's so many other expressions that you and your children share. So why limit it to just smile? You have seen my other video on different kinds of smiles and expressions for a photo shoot. If you've not seen it, it will be in the description box below. You can click on it and see the video. So I talk about different kinds of expressions that you can use or different kinds of smile that you can use. But you cannot expect kids to do that. If you want them to be involved and do that for you, you have to create a moment for them. Only then they will do it. So when you see some of the pictures, I will tell you how I got those shots. And without any pressure on children, without forcing them, without asking them to smile over and over again, they cannot do that. They, I mean, you have to see some of the pictures of my son. The moment you tell him to smile, this is what he does. But look at his pictures, <laughs> but look at his pictures <laughs> when he's natural, when he's happy, when he's smiling from within, when his eyes are happy, they're like sparkling. It's, it's so beautiful to see that expression. And if you want those pictures, then create that moment for them. You can do that by picking three or four activities that you do with them. Say, for example, my kids like to dance with me. They like to see me turning around, twirling around and my dress flowing and and I love the look in, in their eyes when I'm doing that and it's a perfect moment. I don't have to ask them to pose. They are doing what they like to do and 
I love doing that with them. So all of us look happy. Talk about topics that they enjoy. If they like to talk about planets, use that moment to to give them a fun fact because that's when they are just going to react and and you will see the most fun expressions. If they want to tell you something about their favorite toy, bring that toy into the picture. Take a look at this picture where my son wanted to bring his truck but I gave him option of one such truck that actually matched the dress of my color. Dress of my color. Dress of my color. So overall staging of this shot looks much better. So think of a few things that they like to do. Blow bubbles, they like to apply nail polish to you or cook with you or dance. If you want your child to to pose without even knowing that he's posing for your picture. So, so keep this very important point in mind. Next point. It's very common when I see mothers picking up their kids and taking shots. Once they've passed the two or three year mark and they are pretty heavy by then, your natural body stance is going to just push your hips forward when you're carrying them, which will look awkward. So the best thing to do is Find a bench or a big rock where you could be at his or her eye level. That way if you are hugging him or kissing him, it's not going to look awkward. And later if you want to crop it and make it into a close-up shot, aesthetically the picture already looks great, right? If you're not going to put your child on a bench, then there are chances that you might want to sit down or come down on your knees. Now that can be yet another very awkward position. Let's take a look at how we can cut the awkwardness out of this kind of shot. So let's show you a way to look good and feel comfortable at the same time. Now here is our baby. Meet Jake. If you sit like this with the child, it is going to add bulk. Although it feels comfortable, you are not looking good. Now see, I'm going to shift my weight onto my right leg. Immediately, this leg, which is closer to the camera, looks leaner. Now, I like to break rules. Whoever said that you always have to pose with weight on the back leg? So, of course, my leg looks heavier with all my body weight resting on just one leg. That's facing the camera. That, that's such a big no-no. But I'm here to break this myth. What, once you're ready in the position, the photographer is about to click away. What you do is slightly lift yourself up. This is going to elevate you. It really makes you look tall. A lot of people have been asking me questions how I can look taller in pictures or how I can look slimmer. Well, this is one tip to look taller and slimmer at the same time. Try taking pictures from behind. So back shot would be a very interesting shot too. It's not necessary that your face has to be in every picture. Try something creative. If you thought these tips are just for moms with young children, then try the same formula with your mother if she's visiting you or if you're planning to visit her this Mother's Day and, and tell me if it worked or not, except you won't have to stand on a bench to pose with her. Take a look at some of these pictures and I guarantee you, if you are planning a photo shoot keeping these points in mind, there's no failure. Thank you once again for such a warm response to my channel. It really has motivated me to make more videos for you guys and more frequently. Talking about that, I'm planning a question and answer video very soon because some of you posted some really valid, good questions in the comments below. So if you have any more questions, shoot them in the comments. If you have any compliments, don't hold them back. Write them down there. And I love to read your comments, so please keep them coming. Do subscribe to my channel and... Do you have Instagram? You do. I mean, who doesn't have Instagram? Why are you not following me yet? Go ahead and follow me on Instagram so you can see some of the latest work of mine, some of my photographs. It's blushwithme underscore parmita. Also, I'm doing a Mother's Day special. These are mom and me mini sessions just for people who live in and around Chicago area. So if you're around, you know what to do. Contact me. You can find my information on my Facebook page or on my website. My Facebook page is Blush With Me Photography. Go ahead and like the page and book a session. Thank you so much for watching me yet again.